Hello friends, it's me. Today we're gonna be watching some TikToks that will definitely get you in trouble. Yeah, straight up jail time. ...of the month right now, and she has not been feeling good. I'm really sorry, honey, you haven't been feeling good. It's your time of the month. Why do they call it time of the month? Like, it's a fun thing. Like, I've been looking forward to it. It's called a period, because it's a period of pain and suffering in your life. And yeah, we got her boyfriend vlogging. Like, babe, say hi to the camera. Like, she a landmark. But I've been trying to tell her that I feel her pain. Like... That's not proof. It's still debatable. But it's a good piece of evidence. That don't work. There's no way out of this. You're done. Even us, you you hate on a nigga. I don't understand why you hate on me, nigga. We don't understand. Show up, nigga. It don't show nothing. It don't cost nothing to show a nigga. I was doing this beating my Show a nigga some love, nigga. Where about these dabble? Niggas out here don't love me, nigga. Damn. What? Oh no, I see that's what we not better do. Police, lock his ass up. Yes, you need to be under the jail. Like what? What you say? Yeah, arrest him immediately. <laughs> Um, today we're smoking the Sniper Wolf pack. Ha ha ha. <laughs> Guys. YouTube, where she basically steals content. If you make a joke in your TikTok or YouTube short, rest assured, it'll be cut out and she will use that joke instead, okay? Ladies and gentlemen, you don't have to watch me for that. Jack's fit. <clears throat> Ooh, God, something came up in my throat. That's not good. Jack's Films actually made a uh, astonishing amount of videos covering Sniper Wolf's theft of content and the fact that she basically is the biggest YouTube regurgitator, okay? Why need Reddit? Why need Dig? Why need the For You page? Just use Sniper Wolf. Her channel pretty much uploads anything popular on the internet anyways. Now, this would be okay if her content was actually transformative. But uh, I would wager in a court of law, her content is not transformative, okay? Simply going, ooh, ah, wow, that's crazy, is not exactly you know, jaw-dropping transformative commentary. But hey, what do I know? I'm not a lawyer. Really, actually ask a lawyer. Of course, he's not the only person. You've got Jason Derulo, all right? One of the oldest R&B singers I know from the Paleolithic era, whose shorts page has been transformed into a re-upload page. But except now, ever since he started to get called out, he's doing this hashtag got permission to post. So one of the videos I found was of this dog, the face got permission to post. The video that he uploaded is just his music on top of it. But obviously the uh, actual video uh, from Odin's uh, Swiss Shepherd. Yeah, I bet he really enjoys the fact that nobody watched it on his channel. I'm sure he got the permission to post. I mean, hey, you can't lie on the internet. Come on now, seriously. Maybe he did. Like, look at this one. He got permission to post here, but this Lego one, he's like, oh, hell no, I didn't get permission to post, but I'm still posting it on the channel. Get out of here. <laughs> it's insane. But at least that's better than Sniper Wolf. At least he actively is going out of his way to credit and request permission from creators, whether that part is true or not. I'm not exactly here for it. But ladies and gentlemen, the reason I'm covering Sniper Wolf again is because she is unhinged. And I'm not going into lawsuits. I'm going into what happened literally last night. Sniper Wolf just doxed me on her Instagram. Creepy, gross, violating. What you do is disgusting. You steal content and stalk YouTubers. Whoa, heavy claims there. So IG is Instagram. The stories is basically, you know, Instagram. You can upload a story to it that stays up for like a week. I, I don't have to explain stories, okay? Should I go visit Jack's Films? He lives five minutes away from my shoot. And of course, she's got the whole voting there like, yes, queen, or no, nah, I think that's a little too much. <laughs> and of course, you can see that's her account. 
I know this is her account because this was up there for a brief period of time and she showed it. Now you might be like, okay, Muda, how is that like doxing? Come on now. She's just saying, should I show up to a YouTuber? So house, which is yeah, messed like, up. um, but this is where we get into doxing. Now you might be like, whoa, what's up with the gosh? I ain't gonna hold y'all, bro. Muda? That's because I was I chilling at night and I saw this. I was watching the Corey Kenshin favoritism video. Uh, allegedly, apparently. Racism and favoritism. And uh, even if it's not his house. I was not just ask you. Cause if I ask you, you will not like the answer I will give you. Even though I just saw the Wait, comments that come back to this, Corey is still YouTube. right. Look at how YouTube. You guys either play favorites. After she dogs Jack's films, you are racist, or it's a Why mix would of the she two. Dox Jack's films? These are the three options. Like I don't even know. Which one is cancer Here's patient? One. Like make a wish kid. Like Corey Kitchen could do better. That you meet a must make a wish kid. Like a good, but she's not a good person. She's fake. She's fake. I mean, Shadi looks so cute. Like, like fuck cancer. This is getting out of pocket. Why would it? Why would she do that? I don't know. Like, like fuck cancer. This is getting out of pocket. Why would it? Why would she do that? I don't know. But shot is the whole entire P. <laughs> Bro, I can't do that. See ya, we're using content and taking other people's ideas. Cause this is shit up on your channel, call it diarrhea. We better kick you off the internet like North Korea. Shit out 30 TikToks, then you send it to your editors. Telling kids that work their ass, I came you as a predator. Making millies off of children like Roblox developers. Got a famous made of five year olds and obese redditors, bitch. Oh, fuck. This shit. <laughs> or not but basically this site like this is crazy it's getting out of pocket so this is why i don't use amigo like she's being trying to be like edp or something i'm not really sure like i'm not trying to compare it to edp the woman was too stunned to speak even though uh, like this is like it's kind of weird to just to see that and, and, like like in her like were her videos bro why would she do that? Why would she do that? I don't really know, bro. Like, why would she do that? Uh, uh, I mean, that pack got people was lit, bro. I don't even know what happened. <laughs> <laughs> right, let's get to the boring criminal stuff, Last like a smooth night, criminal. Bro. Sniper Wolf, a massive YouTuber, showed up outside of our home, recorded a video of our home, and then posted it to her 5.6 million Instagram followers goading me with the line let's talk like adults in my 17 years on youtube i've never once had someone come to my home and vaguely threaten me sniper wolf needs to be deplatformed in this exact moment she turned from a mere content thief to someone who doxes and stalks her critics to everyone that's reached out to us thank you we're fine we're just a little shaken up but mainly, we feel violated. We no longer feel safe in our own home because we're dealing with someone who genuinely thinks they're in the right for A, 
stalking me, and B, posting our home to her massive audience. What a disgusting abuse of clout that is. This is irresponsible at best and flat out dangerous at worst. YouTube needs to step in and take action. If this goes unpunished, then it sets a terrifying precedent that you can dox and stalk your critics so long as you have a big YouTube audience. If she truly wanted to talk with me, she could have done so through many other means. But there's one thing you don't do. You do not show up at someone's house. That's simply a line you do not cross. There is zero justification for this. She claims in her story that I've been harassing her. No, Sniper Wolf, I've not been harassing you. At all. In my videos on Judge Jack's films, I've been critiquing her non-transformative commentary, I point out cases of content theft and freebooting, and I credit the creators she steals from. I've been critical of her content, but that does not equate to harassment. What is harassment is coming to our home, sharing it for millions to see, and taunting me to come out. YouTube needs to take swift action and ban her from the platform ASAP. And the same goes for Instagram. Speaking of, Sniper Wolf is already making light of the situation, as if stalking someone is a quirky thing to do. No one should feel unsafe in their own home. And thanks to Sniper Wolf, my wife and I now do. So YouTube, please do the right thing and get her off the platform. Anyone who weaponizes their fan base like she did does not deserve a space. Let's react to August Duck. I don't, I'm not really sure. I'm not really sure, bro. I, I don't know. I'm going to let it play, though. Well, guys, today is going to be an interesting one. When it comes to my 2023 internet drama bingo card, I can't say that I was expecting to be able to fill this one out, but honestly, I'm not that surprised either. Now, as I'm sure many of you are already aware, this past Friday, SS Sniper Wolf doxed Jax Films. Now, I'm not laughing because this is a funny situation. I'm laughing because it's quite the opposite. This is one of the most insane YouTube situations I've ever seen. You've got one of the most well-established brands and friendly set for life YouTubers on this platform who just went out and docked somebody because they couldn't take constructive criticism. Now, if you're unaware of what led up to this situation, I'll give you a brief rundown. About a year ago, last October, Jax Films, one of the OGs of the YouTube game, made a YouTube channel named JJ Jax Films, obviously kind of a parody of SS Sniper Wolf. Now, it seems to have just started as a joke, just kind of poking fun at the very low effort content that Sniper Wolf makes, but since then, it has transformed into the this, like whole movement trying to push sniper wolf to do things like credit the creators of these tiktoks she's reacting to and you know actually put some effort into her videos not just watch a tiktok and go oh my gosh wow okay next video now as you might have imagined based off the context of this video sniper wolf was not a huge fan of this project a few months ago they had some twitter beef where they exchanged some words and it was clear last night sniper wolf a massive youtuber showed up outside of our home, recorded a video of our home, and then posted it to her 5.6 million Instagram followers, goading me with the line, let's talk like adults. In my 17 years on YouTube, I've never once had someone come to my home and vaguely threaten me. Sniper Wolf needs to be deplatformed. In this exact moment, she turned from a mere content thief to someone who doxes and stalks her critics. To everyone that's reached out to us, thank you. We're fine, we're just a little shaken up. But mainly, we feel violated. We no longer feel safe in our own home because we're dealing with someone who genuinely thinks they're in the right for A, stalking me, and B, posting our home to her massive audience. What a disgusting abuse of clout that is. This is irresponsible at best and flat out dangerous at worst. YouTube needs to step in and take action. If this goes unpunished, then it sets a terrifying precedent that you can dox and stalk your critics so long as you have a big YouTube audience. If she truly wanted to talk with me, she could have done so through many other means. But there's one thing you don't do. 
you do not show up at someone's house. That's simply a line you do not cross. There is zero justification for this. She claims in her story that I've been harassing her. No, Sniper Wolf, I've not been harassing you. At all. In my videos on Judge Jack's films, I've been critiquing her non-transformative commentary, I point out cases of content theft and freebooting, and I credit the creators she steals from. I've been critical of her content, but that does not equate to harassment. What is harassment is coming to our home, sharing it for millions to see, and taunting me to come out. YouTube needs to take swift action and ban her from the platform ASAP. And the same goes for Instagram. Speaking of, Sniper Wolf is already making light of the situation, as if stalking someone is a quirky thing to do. No one should feel unsafe in their own home. And thanks to Sniper Wolf, my wife and I now do. So YouTube, please do the right thing and get her off the platform. Anyone who weaponizes their fan base like she did does not deserve a space. Hey, this is actually the most outrageous setup I've ever attempted. I've got the normal Sony camera balancing on a small beam in the hotel room here that's looking like a high wire out of a circus, and I have it propped up a little bit with the laptop flipped down and slightly angled at an obtuse angle in order to prop it up just a little bit so you can maybe see my face. I don't know what it looks like. You might be looking at just like my bottom chin, so I'm going to look like the secretary from the Powerpuff Girls, but... We're gonna run it anyway, so as you can see I'm still on my little expedition away from home. I'm in my hotel room, don't be alarmed, I know I'm not wearing a white shirt, but this isn't a cry for help or anything. It's very cold, so I threw on one of the only long sleeve shirts that I had available. So that's the whole explanation there. Anyway, th the reason I have urgently scrambled here to get to this computer in order to talk about something is because a huge story has been developing over the last, I don't know, like two hours or something where Sniper Wolf has now doxxed Jax Films. I'm sure this is something that a lot of you are moderately familiar with, but I'll just go ahead and give you the really brief nutshell rundown of what's going on. I didn't make that cut right there on purpose. This has nothing to do with the whole video, but I need to mention this. The, the camera just fell on its own and stopped the recording, so we may have an angry poltergeist incident in here. I'm gonna have to get the fucking Luigi's Mansion vacuum out and just start going to town in here to, to clear the, the area, exercise whatever spirits happen to be haunting this room. But I'm gonna finish the video regardless, but if you see my eyes roll into the back of my skull and I start levitating off the chair during it, just know, it's, it's, it's a haunting in Pittsburgh here. Or perhaps the cringe was too unbearable here with the subject we're covering. But anyway, back on topic. Sniper Wolf, huge channel. She mainly does TikTok reacts, which has made her the punching bag of the internet recently. She's caught more fire than the sequel to The Hunger Games because a lot of people have been stating that what she does isn't really reacting to content. It's mainly just stealing it, freebooting it. And the entire internet has come together like this giant singularity and all collapsed onto Sniper Wolf as well as some other React channels as well for this type of content. And by far the biggest soldier on the front line of this battle is Jax Films. Jax Films made a whole video going over why what she does isn't acceptable and even made an entire channel dedicated to making fun of her and her content. And he even has an entire bingo game that takes the piss out of her content more than a catheter takes the piss out of a hospital patient. He has pretty much daily uploads of just making fun of each of her daily reacts. This ongoing feud has been escalating and continuing for quite some time. We're in like season five of this anime arc here and it's only popping off more and more. And this whole situation has led to a can of worms opening. Pandora's box has been unleashed. So it's been a massive conversation across the entire internet with tons of content creators weighing in on it, such as Dark Viper having an entire series on React content. Mudahar has made quite a few pieces on it as well. Just tons of channels that have all been talking about it recently. And it's led to this witch's cauldron, this stew that's been brewing and bubbling. And now the cup runneth over and all of this have spilt from the internet to the real world. Allegedly, Sniper Wolf has just doxxed Jack's films. In an Instagram post, she posted this. And it was more than just this picture here. Apparently, she even posted one of his house, which obviously I'm not going to show you. I'm not here to just like hop on and give you like a 4K 
the display of Jack's Films Dojo here because Sniper Wolf posted it on her story. It's just an extremely degenerate, fucked up response to this whole situation from Sniper Wolf here. It's borderline illegal, I think. I, I don't think you can just dox somebody like this. And if it's not illegal, it's against YouTube's rules at the very least. And it violates the Geneva Convention of Internet Content Creators where you never take internet beef into the real world. It's it's just going too far with this whole thing. Jax Films was just making critiques on her content as well as making fun of it, which is something everyone does all the time every single fucking day. And to go to this extreme where you dox It's an evil world we live in. I don't really know about this situation, bro. Like, um, I'm not a fan of this sniper wolf. I'm only a fan with Corey Kenshin, bro. So, if I make sure you guys like and subscribe for this underrated video I made on the like uh, hour. Like, I'm not gonna do an outro because I don't feel like it today. But yeah, as guess as a sniper wolf, like, uh, she fell off. She, she like she like grooming children on this Discord mod, like some I don't know on Meagle, But I guess bye.